so guys um, i think we can start now uh so today i am your trainer uh, just to give a brief introduction about myself um i'm working as a digital marketing manager with uh, gotridge and uh, i've been in the digital marketing space for um, uh, around 8 years uh, and uh, i started off my journey uh, as a social media manager uh, in an agency uh, just to give you a context about how uh, you know the digital marketing industry works you have the agency side and then you have the brand side right so uh, agencies are the ones who service the brands and give them pro you know, services like you know social media management search engine optimization search engine marketing etc and brand side uh, uh, are the ones uh, who are actually into selling the actual product right so for example if cadbury is the brand cadbury will have a lot of agencies a lot of marketing agencies uh, who will be providing marketing services to them so i started my uh, journey on the agency side uh, and after working for say around 5 years i decided to move on the brand side so uh, that's how my journey has been in the digital marketing space uh, today i will be covering uh, uh, you know i'm sure you guys are aware about uh, the topic which is content strategies to uh, engage with the audience so i'll just quickly share my screen and give you a brief synopsis of what can you expect in today's session and uh, how will this help you in the overall uh, you know career if in case you plan to uh, kick off a career in the digital marketing space uh, how will today's session actually help you out in some way okay so i'm really excited for today's session let me share my screen perfect so uh, uh you know just to make this session a little more entertaining and interesting i don't want to uh, make it you know like a classroom session um i i have kind of introduced jethalal in this space i'm sure all of us uh, you know uh, are uh, aware of jethalal and uh, he's like the content king uh, if i have to say uh, you know in the indian uh, entertainment television entertainment industry so uh, 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 we'll be talking about content strategies to engage your audience right uh now uh, what are we going to cover in, in today's session is a we just start from basics and by basics i mean uh, let's first understand what exactly is a content strategy right what is the meaning of a content strategy when someone tells you that you know we need to have a strategy in place so uh, that is what uh, we'll be covering uh, after we know what is a strategy let's identify what is the importance of having a content strategy right uh, so content strategy um, you know is very important in terms of giving a direction uh, i'll be touch basing upon this a little more uh, but just to give you a sense so what it is it's more like a direction uh, for your marketing team uh, to know what they want to achieve you know and that's only possible with uh, uh, a content strategy then we'll be uh, i'll be introducing you to the concept of something uh, called as the hero hub and hygiene content framework uh, uh, we'll talk about what exactly is this hero hub and hygiene model and what are the best practices you know to create this content which is your hero hub and hygiene uh i'll be giving an introduction of the sales funnel after this uh the reason why uh, i'll be giving introducing the sales funnel is because everything every content piece that we generate as a brand uh ultimately we all want to drive sales right any marketing efforts is ultimately uh, there to push revenue to push sales to push more profits to the organization so i'll be introducing that to you in terms of how the sales funnel actually works and then how can we align this hero hub and hygiene framework to the sales funnel right so this is uh, a broad level of topics that we will be covering so what exactly is a content strategy what do you mean by a content strategy uh, a content strategy is basically you know we need to outline your business and customer needs right so what happens is uh, when you work in an organization when you when you guys will be going off and you know starting a career in an organization you need to understand what are your business needs as well as your customer needs okay so your business needs will be to drive x amount of profit to you know sell x amount of uh, units but you also need to identify how are you going to do that there may be certain pain points of the customer which you want to address uh, in the journey of obtaining the business need so for example just to give you an example um uh, it's a home security business for example uh, 
say Godrej is a home security business and they're selling lockers. Okay. Now the business need is to sell and drive revenue and profits out of you know the locker you're selling. But the customer need is um, that they want a highly secured home. Okay. Now, how can the content strategy help in driving both the business needs and as well as the customer needs to attain the objectives of both the parties, which is the business party as well as the customer party? That's what a content strategy helps to do, right? So it makes sure that the business needs are also being met, while at the same time, we don't ignore the customer needs. So it, it, it purely means that we don't have to be salesy. We don't have to just push our products for the heck of it. We need to understand what the customer really wants. And that will only be possible if you have a plan in place, a content plan in place that will address the pain points of the customer and eventually help the business to attain profits. Okay, So that's what a content strategy will let you know. So are you guys in on with me on this? Any, any question? Planning of content as per the competition, planning, development, and management of content. Yes. So planning of content of course and uh, development management of content that's more of the execution part of it but the basis of content strategy is supposed to identify what are the customer needs and the business needs and then how can you get in content to kind of you know achieve the objectives of both the parties so that's what a holistic level of a content strategy is okay now why is why do you need a content strategy why do organizations need a content strategy? Okay, so uh, so basically, uh, you need a content strategy because without a strategy, uh, you will not be able to identify what are you going to talk to the customers. You pick up any successful brand, right? Uh, yes, yes, Kashish, you cannot make good content. That's one thing. But you pick up any successful brand. You pick up a McDonald's. You pick up a Coke. Okay, the reason why they are at the top of our mind is because they had. They've had a very successful strategy in terms of, uh, you know, churning out the best content and also reaching out to the right audience, right? So that's the need of an important, of a good content strategy. Without a content strategy, if you just put up content, you know, which has no uh, uh, goals to it, uh, you will not be able to reach out to the right set of audience. So first, a content strategy helps you understand what your objective is, right? And by objective, I mean, what, what is your goal? Do you want to only drive awareness? Do you only want to drive sales? Do you want to drive preference for the brand? You know, so first is a content strategy will help you understand the objective, okay? It also ensures that whatever efforts that you are taking to, you know, kind of create content is driven towards the goal. For example, if my objective is driving sales, is my content actually being aligned with, you know, driving sales? Is my content actually uh, getting me sales or it's just I'm creating content for the heck of it. I'm not getting any sales out, of it, you know. So if there is a lack of a content strategy, what you will do is you will end up creating content, but it may not be able to meet your objectives. OK, so it's very important that you have a very well defined content strategy so that every effort that is going in creating content and creating you know, your marketing efforts, it gives you tangible results. OK, and this results can be it can be anything. It can be awareness of your product. People will be more aware, more reach or uh, maybe can be one of the tangible results. More sales can be more tangible results. So strategy will, a content strategy will help you do all these things, you know. If you really, really want to get tangible results, what do I mean by tangible results? Results that are measurable, that you can actually measure that, you know, I did this campaign. This helped me to get so-and-so revenue and so-and-so reach. So if you really, really want to do that, uh, a well-documented content strategy will actually help you uh, for the same. 